Okay, so for this video presentation, this time around, hopefully this microphone can hear me, I am going to go over a couple more concepts that I came up with. So, in my first video, um, that video that I posted yesterday, I was speaking about, um, it's, I started it off with the Barbara Marciniak comment about um, Planet X and Nibiru and uh, what um, Elon Musk named his son. So, and in this video, so I came up with the concept about this and I could almost get, I don't know. Okay, so I wrote this on a piece of paper and I just brought it here just because it's a nice day to be at the park. It's uh, February, today is what? February 20, or no, March 2nd. So today's March 2nd. These ducks know that I got breadcrumbs. <clears throat> so today's March 2nd. I like feeding the ducks, the geese, not so much. They're greedy. I can't feed all you guys right now. Gotta talk about some stuff. Okay, so. Okay, so. Let's put this in. Let's. This is what I, my take on what I said there was. Just and this is just for the record, so people know can kind of know what the future is gonna be. Because I I'm just here to say that you. You know, um, the world's not a perfect place, nor will it ever be, and you know we can only put our two cents in, and then. We're, we're not um, infallible ourselves by any means, right? So, okay, so. Nibiru didn't exist until Elon and Greaves had that baby. I don't, I, okay, I don't think, I don't think Elon is lying about how he says that there hasn't been any um, extraterrestrial encounters here on Earth because they're not here yet. They're not here yet, <laughs> or they're not, they're not here yet, or they haven't been, we haven't, progress that far into the future where we all kind of branch into different into being spacefaring creatures because i think right now we're only on the human plane of existence this is what i'm thinking there might there's other planes of existence but in our human form our human form this is where we're at in the history books in our human form okay so i don't think elon is lying about there being zero space aliens at the 420 frequency because of the cosmic code so it's the same thing as when you ask a computer uh, if you ask a computer if it's a human being or a robot and it gives you a straight answer it has to tell you because this is like the cosmic uh, the cosmic code sort of stuff right okay but XEA12 which his baby will be which his baby's name is will will be the word to bring the Nabooru the Nibiru planet, planet X, the 12th planet, the planet X, Nibiru planet, baby EAX12 or whatever the heck its name is, SpaceX, X12, Nibiru. And this is where the Palladians have their little tricky shit. So I had to think about this. I was like, yeah, the, the truth is hidden in, pl in plain sight. Nibiru, 12th planet, da 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 We make up history. We make the history books as we go along given the, the little clues that we get, right? So this could be me just putting my little mark dent in the in the history book. So this baby that, that, that him and that other weird looking chick had, that baby is um, is going to be the coming of the 12th planet Nibiru because it only um, circulates Earth or whatever the heck it is, right? Because nobody really knows about the stars or any of that stuff, right? Because if you look at um, a lot of people have, the, have a hard time with the concept of like the Earth being like a a double-sided blank disc, right? Like a double-sided CD, right? With the, with two different lights at the top and then being being domed off on both sides, right? So the, the CDs, don't get me wrong, the Earth is a sphere, but we're trapped inside of this frequency fence sphere because the Earth is like a CD and then it goes, has one side of the sphere, second side of the sphere. You got Agartha, then you got Earth, and then the your planes and stuff they travel and then this side is parallel that's the parallel right they say as above so below as above so below parallel and you're starting to see this parallel um this parallel jump onto your and i'm getting little hints about this too and this is just for the future you guys because i kind of see this stuff sometimes right you're starting to see this parallel stuff um 
happening on your Facebook. So let's say that you have kind of a doppelganger in Agartha or in one of these other dimensions or frequencies. They're gonna start. You're gonna start seeing your doppelganger pop up, and you're gonna say, "Who is this person that's sort of like me on my Facebook or on my Instagram or whatever the heck else it's called, right?" And that's gonna be your um, doppelganger. This is what I'm coming up with. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. A lot of people will talk about. Agartha and they will know about like um, parallel universes and the frequency fence and the whole the whole sort of um, keeping us keeping us sort of in this right now I don't know what's happening outside of this globe or this sphere of um, the sphere of frequency I don't know but this is just stuff this is just stuff people can think about right maybe it brings their imagination to a cool place but it opens up the books for people to start thinking so start thinking and putting your imprints in there so now now that you guys have that, so long story short, EA12, XEA12 or whatever, that will be the coming of the space planet X probably. That's why they had that kid and that's what that kid is going to be. Because the Anunnaki, Space X, Nibiru, the Anunnaki kind of wrote their way into the history there from back in the days and they put themselves in the future because these people were creative, right? That's and then now we're our creativity has been tampered with so much now that Everybody's afraid to have a free thought, so this is where this is all going to come into play. So now, while I'm here, I'm going to turn this off. So that was just my two cents, so I'm going to keep this camera on the, the beautiful park here for a second. So this is the park. Park, 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 park. You can see the water fountain and stuff like that. So, so that's where I'm going to leave that, that video off for now. Um, and then I'm going to do one quick... Um, one more quick Bible study thing while I'm here at this nice park and then I am going to um, see where life takes me after that but this is just for people's reference but just to say this is what I came up with so this is gonna be like cool news to people some people are gonna say some people are gonna say um, some people are gonna say oh Heath you're crazy but you're gonna find this stuff out and as people know already know about most of the stuff that I say it generally ends up happening and coming through look at how beautiful that sky is Look at the beautiful sky. A, do people see the color of that sky? That sky is pretty. People should look at, come out and see these things some days. I'm sure they do, once in a while. Okay, so. So that's that for that. So now I'm gonna do one more um, chapter of the Bible for today and then see where my path of life takes me after that. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm back. And I got really good camera levels too right now, so this is a nice thing. So I'm just gonna, like I always do with my Bible, I just open it up to a chapter. And there was something else that I wanted to mention too. Uh, but I forget now, okay, so. So, Bible, open it to a chapter. I'm just gonna go like this. And it's, we are on Mark. Mark. Okay, the final conflict. So this is Mark 13 to 21 to Mark 14, 7. And I'm just going to do a quick, uh, quick verse here. Now the festival of Passover and unleavened bread was only two days off. And the chief priests and the doctors of the law were trying to devise some cunning plan to seize. Okay, I don't know if I want to do this part. So I'm just going to cut this part off. Let's keep going on. Um, Matthew okay so Matthew Matthew 12 to 43 Matthew 13 to 15 NEB new edition Bible new English Bible that same day I think this is kind of picking up from where we were at or no hold on hold on Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up on the NED where I left off on that last chapter earlier. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat by the seaside, and great multitudes were gathered together unto him. And great multitudes were gathered together. I'm just gonna bring this camera in a bit closer so I don't have to yell at the microphone, okay? And great, great multitudes were gathered together unto him 
so that he went into a ship and sat. And the whole multitude stood on the shore, and he spat, spoke of many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow, a sower went for, forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came out and devoured them up. The fowls, the fowls being birds. Weird. Okay, and I've never read this. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, Behold, a sour da, 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 da. Some fell upon stony places where they not had much earth, and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell amongst among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundred a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold, and hath ears to hear, let him hear. And when the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? So why did he talk to them in parables? So I'm going to tell you why I think, Je or why I think Jesus talked to these people in parables. Because when you speak to people in parables, which is like just, you know, just kind of, it's like a poet, my take on parables again. It's, it's like, a, po it's like po a small poem sort of thing, right? With a lot of different possibilities because Jesus wanted these people to think for themselves because he knew, Jesus knew that the word is, the word makes the form. The word and the idea makes the form. So you have to speak to people to open up their minds, to open up their, to broaden their, expand their horizons, right? Because without the word, you won't have the ideas to go forth and sow your own garden or make your own beautiful garden or whatever you feel like making you know uh, maybe it's a robot that dances to techno music i don't care what you make this is just stuff to kind of get your brain going uh, withered away and some fell among thorns and the thorns sprung up and choked do, 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 do. who hath ears to hear let him hear and the disciples came and said unto him why hast thou speak in parables he answered and said unto them because it is given th given unto you to know the mysteries of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it is not given for whoever whoever hath to him shall not be given and he shall have more abundance but whoever hath not from him abundance abundance but whoever hath not from him shall be taken away even that he hath so it means if you don't have abundance or i don't know what that means um Therefore speak I speak therefore I speak to them in parables because they seeing the seeing see not the seeing see not so the people that see it already know the word is the the word everything starts with the word so they don't need to see anymore because they have everything because they already spoke the word the word that makes the the forms happen and your and your future and all these beautiful possibilities that the universe can give you happen okay let's keep going by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive for the people's heart is waxed gross is waxed gross so the people's heart means they're not thinking with their hearts they're thinking with the way that they were taught to thought they're not thinking by their hearts which means using your own free will to go out and create right they're not thinking with their hearts for the people's heart and their ears when an unclean spirit comes out of a man it wanders over the desert seeking a resting place and finding none so it just means you're just going out into a barren wasteland so if you're not seeking something so if you don't have a concept of what you want to come up with in your mind and you just keep following orders and doing this that the next thing then you're just going to keep seeking a barren wasteland full of people just directing you in a position to keep you on a rhetorical cycle doing absolutely nothing not no personal growth which is the one thing that you might be afraid of so you got to kind of follow your heart people Ah, wanders over the desert seeking a resting place finding none I will go back to the home I left so it returns and finds the house unoccupied swept clean and tidy so that means when the earth's ready the earth runs its cycle and it's cleaned out again then Jesus will come here again after the cycle of the universe so Jesus Christ will come here again or whoever somebody else will give you the word to start creating right so buddy I think what he means by that like swept clean would mean like anything you, you know like um the biblical flood or um nuclear whatever the, the whole earth just gets swept clean he'll come back to speak the word again to teach the people again right like i said the universal cycle of things i think i think i don't know for sure um i'm um, um, um and then come in okay 
I will go back to the home I left so it returns and finds the house un unoccupied, swept clean and tidy. Off it goes and collects seven other spirits more wicked than itself and they all come in and settle down and in the end the man's plight is worse than before. That is how it will be be with this wicked generation which means everybody's just going to come in and sin like that's the way the world always is you need it's good and bad but the sin is the sin helps spawn a lot of creation too he was still speaking to the crowd when his mother and brothers appeared they stood outside wanting to speak to him someone said your mothers and brothers are here outside they want to speak to you jesus turned to the man who brought the message and said who is my mother who are my brothers? And pointing to, to the disciples, he said, Here are my mother and brothers. Whoever does the will of, of my heavenly father is my brother, my sister, and my mother. So he means we're all just children of the garden. And they're all, we're all brothers and sisters, children of the garden. There's good people and there's bad people. But we got, and that's just the way of the world, right? But we all, but the, the, the whole thing, again, this is the first, this is the cornerstone of a, a building so this is your first brick that you lay down then you put your freaking um cement mud mix or whatever right so this is the cornerstone cornerstone so hopefully everybody enjoyed that and um that's good for today so thank you very much guys for joining me and this is for my own personal reference but take from the library in the garden of the living library garden of knowledge whatever you want to call it all this beautiful stuff that i'm just trying to throw it out there so people have an idea how beautiful life can be so that's how that kind of works. So, okay.